Kate Weber Scholes worked as a clinical psychologist in an emergency room before her children were born. Now the stay-at-home mom of five talks about how turning to God and the Mass helped her help her patients then and why she takes her kids to daily Mass now. All the bloody things that you see, all the MVAs, all the CH, all, all the closed head injuries, all the, the, the hardest, one of the hardest things I ever saw was just the violence done to this woman who worked at a, at a um, drug store, at a convenience store, by um, a youth who wanted to get a six-pack of beer, and she said, I need to see your ID, and challenged him, and was very badly beaten, and her husband coming in. Um, so, so, yes, there, yeah, you see a lot of, of, of uh, the underbelly, so to speak, of the world, but if you, when I learned to have the humility to realize that I wasn't gonna be able to solve their problems, I wasn't going to be able to, um, I wasn't going to be able to heal them myself, that I had to turn to Christ, I had to turn to Jesus, I had to turn to God, our good Father, to help these folks. I could be an instrument in that, but ultimately it wasn't me. The more I realized that, the more I saw Christ in these people. And that for me is a big part of what happens in Mass, that when I receive the Holy Eucharist, the Holy Eucharist sounds so impersonal to me. When I receive our Lord Jesus Christ, body and blood, soul and divinity, He resides in me. If I've gone to confession, if I'm doing my best, He lives in me. And I can hopefully get the heck out of the way, let Him fill me more and more, and I see Him and other people much more readily. Much more readily. So you want to end war? Go to Mass. You want to bring peace? to the world, go to Mass. You want your family to heal, you want to be a good example for your kids and you know that it doesn't come naturally, <laughs> go to Mass. It's all, I mean for me, it's all about receiving Him in the Eucharist. He's been here. He could have saved us a million different ways. He decided to come to Earth to show us that He knows, that He's walked the walk, that He's here for us, that He loves us. Um, people saying, I have hope for the Church it's mostly old people coming up to the children and I and saying, um, you, I, I now have hope for the church because I've seen that there are young children coming to Mass. Mm. Um, I, your children are so well behaved. They seem to actually want to be here. I hear that a lot. They actually seem to want to be here. Yeah, they do want to be here. Um, we see the joy, people say. We see the joy that you bring. And that's Christ. That's not me. People say to me, what a good job you're doing. And I'm not being, I'm, listen, I, <laughs> anybody who knows me knows I'm the first one to say, that was me. Yep, that was me. It's all about me. I did that. Yeah. But that's not me. It's Our Lady. It, it, okay, it is me. It is me saying, take it, which is actually hard for me. So I, I will, I, I, yes, it, it is me saying, over and over and over again. <laughs> take it. Oh, it's in my hands again. Oop, take it. <laughs> you know, but it is our Lord in, in, in the Holy Eucharist, and it is Mary, wow. our good mother, who takes these kids and forms them. I mean, you know, parents will say, I can't do this, I can't do this, I can't do that. You're right, you can't, and neither can I. And that's why I take my children to Mass. When it's hard mm -hmm. to go to Mass, I feel like that's when it's hard is when it really pays. I feel like it'd be, it would, I wouldn't really be um, heroic of me to go to Mass if I felt good all the time. There are some times when I go to Mass and I just feel <laughs> awful. I'm tired or I'm sick or mm -hmm. I wanted to sleep in that extra half hour. Yeah. But I can offer that up with the host and just say, God, just take all my distractions and take all my human limitations and all my frustrations and being tired and just wanting to leave. <laughs> mm -hmm. Just take all that yep. because I'm, I'm doing it because I love you and I know you want me to be here. I think it's the key to why we're all so close to each other. Also homeschooling, we're with each other every day, but through the Mass we're really united and I think that's one of the big reasons why we're all so close to each other. Mm -hmm.